the Atha 450 is ready to roll and we have all the details on this electric scooter. The fastest road legal bike from Ducati, the Panigale V4. And Hero's plans for the Indian market with the chairman and CEO at Hero Motor Corp. It is car and bike time here on the NDTV network. I am Siddharth Panayak Patankar. Thank you for joining us on this brand new episode. And we are going to start with some really hot metal on the track. And no, it's not a sports car. It is the most powerful road legal bike from Ducati. And I'm talking, of course, about the over 200 horses Panigale V4. Now, Pritam Bora got really lucky. He was down at the Spank circuit in Malaysia outside Kuala Lumpur to test it. It's the most powerful road legal superbike in the world. And in the hands of an expert rider, the Ducati Panigale V4 certainly looks the part of a thoroughbred race machine. And we are at the Sibang circuit in Malaysia to ride it. V4 will replace the Panigale 1299 as the top of the line Ducati Superbike and it promises a level of performance never before seen on any Ducati Superbike. The four-cylinder V4 engine is derived directly from the Ducati MotoGP engine and the 1103cc 90-degree V4 belts out 211 bhp of power at 13,000 rpm and 124 nm of torque at 10,000 rpm from its four cylinders. The overall design is similar to the Panigale 1299, but there are some changes. The cast aluminium front frame uses the engine as a structural element of the chassis. And the long wheelbase gives the Panigale V4 a purposeful stance which also makes it more stable at high speeds. Out on the track, what is immediately apparent is the ease with which the V4 dips into each corner. Whether it's tight, sweeping or even the hairpins around the two long straights of the Sepang circuit. And even before we get to sample the maniac performance of the engine, the Panigale V4 already introduces itself as a friendly superbike with near-perfect handling. You can go fast, you can break hard and you can put your knee down at every corner. But there is no hint of the bike losing its composure. Of course, there is cornering ABS, Ducati traction control, wheelie control and even slide control, all helped by a very intelligent inertial measurement unit or IMU, which constantly analyzes the bike's behavior and adjusts the electronics and suspension accordingly. Of course, the super sticky Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SV race replica tires also aid the V4's superb handling further. Its compact dimensions, low 195kg curb weight and comprehensive safety package makes it an absolute hoot around the racetrack. Even to riders with limited track skills and experience. Over 200 bhp of power claiming to be the most powerful production road bike, the Panigale V4 can be a little overwhelming if you think about the numbers on paper, but once you ride it, it's really forgiving. You can take 
fast turns, you can do anything about it. The electronics always ensure you are in total control. Uh, this one really is one of the best super bikes that I have ridden so far. It has to be said that the V4 engine has more than enough performance to scare you silly. And you can easily run out of Dama and car it before you realize you're hitting over 260 kilometers per hour. And it still has more left in it. So it really can make you ride like you've never ridden before and make you feel like a hero on the racetrack. And that's what makes the Ducati Panigale V4 a completely irresistible package. A very hot bike there and I can tell you Preetam has been keeping pretty busy because uh, he's also traveled down to Bengaluru to meet with Ather. Now it's a startup in many ways started by two friends who uh, graduated from IIT Madras and obviously had a very strong dream in the electric space. Now the Ather 450 will be the first product and it could well be the best electric scooter out there. Let's take a look at it. The Atha 450 is the top-of-the-line electric scooter from Bengaluru-based tech startup Atha Energy. The Atha 450 promises to completely change the scooter segment in the Indian two-wheeler industry as we know it today. And it's not just any electric scooter, but it also competes against conventional scooters powered by petrol engines. It's built by an Indian company started by two college friends from IIT Madras five years ago. And it's taken nearly four years and over 50 different prototypes to be where it is today. Meet the Aether 450, the top of the line electric scooter from Bengaluru based tech startup Aether Energy. And this one promises to completely change the scooter space as we know it today. Aether Energy's design team decided to keep the 450's lines neat and clean. So, no flashy graphics and no flamboyant colors. The design overall is nice and it may not be called good looking in the conventional sense but spend some time with it and you begin to warm up to the 450's looks. There are LED pilot lamps, LED headlights, LED tail lamps and a large underseat storage which boasts of nearly 25 litres of space. The Atho 450 runs on clean energy thanks to a footboard mounted 2.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery which powers the electric motor putting out 20.5 newton meters of torque and a claimed actual range of 75 kilometers and a top speed of over 80 kilometers per hour. But that's only part of the Atho 450's talking point. More importantly, it is a true smart scooter which is cloud connected and offers features like remote diagnostics as well. And it comes with preloaded GSM connectivity which offers real-time satellite navigation as well as things like performance, range and the charging infrastructure on the Yatha grid. And all this is measured through an intelligent onboard system which uses GPS, cloud connectivity and an inertial measurement unit to measure and predict actual performance and diagnostic patterns based on individual riding style. On the move, the Atha 450 feels quick and in traffic, it can keep up and even leave behind a lot of conventional 110cc scooters and commuter motorcycles. Of course, there's hardly any sound from the electric motor and that's something which people in our country will need to get used to. One commuter on a motorcycle even swerved in front of the Atha 450, presumably because he could not hear the electric scooter approaching. Ride quality is neutral and it handles most urban conditions remarkably well without any hint of feeling bouncy or unsettled. Although our urban test roads didn't offer too much to test the handling properly, there's little to complain on that front. What could have been better? The brakes. Well, what could have been better on the Aether 450 are the brakes. Uh, 
they got enough bite in possession to really make it stop quickly but the brakes are slightly based on the rear so you end up blocking the rear wheel too soon that said it's mostly good enough for all your needs while riding in the city ride quality is great handling is really really good what i like most about the scooter is its performance in fact i have go out on a limb and say this is the best electric scooter that i have ridden so far the best electric scooter available in the market in india right now The Alpha 450 makes quite an impression as a very good electric scooter. In fact, it is one of the best electric scooters available in the market right now and its performance is comparable in the real world to the current crop of 110 cc scooters available on sale. And its performance is also backed by technology and the hassle-free Alpha Grid network. It's got great range on a single charge and has the charging infrastructure and network to make using it on a daily basis hassle free. Well, if you have real anxiety about charging an electric scooter, Ata has all these different locations all over Bengaluru. Right now there are about 13 odd locations with 17 different charging points. This location the Ata center has three different charging points here. Uh, in all there are about 17 charging points all over the city right now which Ata wants to increase to about 30 within a month and to about 60 70 odd locations by the end of the year how do you charge it very simple actually take this out flip it open and turn the key off to charge and it's charging now A lot of thought, research and real world tests have gone into the making of the production ready Ather 450. The frame is part aluminum, part steel, which makes for a stiff and taut handling scooter. The Ather 450 is priced at nearly 125000 rupees on road in Bangalore and for monthly subscription of 700 rupees, the company will also take care of service, maintenance and replacement of parts. In all, it certainly makes a very good impression as a technology-packed electric scooter for the future.